Welcome, Friars. I'm Lauren Thompson, back again with the latest updates for your Friars Golf Club Insider. And as usual, there's plenty to share. So first things first, in celebration of our 30th anniversary, Buffalo Group and the Friars team have been working on several enhancements to the overall experience for our valued members. So we are excited to introduce a new partner program that includes exclusive access to some of the best brands in golf. This program is designed to provide you with additional value and access to top-notch equipment and accessories. Our new corporate members include Youth on Course, which renewed for 2024, plus Donald Ross, Sun Mountain, Good Walk Coffee, GolfBalls.com, Rocket Tour Head Covers, Imperial, and Skytrack. Plus, we hope to see even more in the future. So keep an eye on the website ProShop to access promotional codes and stay tuned for more information from each of our partners. So next up on the agenda, come join your Friar friends and experience the timeless elegance of the Greenbrier, AKA the granddaddy of all resorts. Visit the Greenbrier and you might as well step back in time as you experience warm, hospitable service with more than 1 million square feet covered in Dorothy Draper's patterns and designs award-winning food, more than 45 shops, beautiful spaces to relax, and an infinite amount of leisure activities, including an 80,000 square foot casino to test your luck after dinner. Oh yeah, and don't forget about the golf. The Old White Course has hosted royalty, U.S. presidents, celebs, a Ryder Cup, Solheim Cup, the PGA Tour's Greenbrier Classic, and most recently, it hosted a live series event that saw Bryson DeChambeau shoot a 58. It is truly a place that words struggle to describe. You need to come and experience it for yourself. So September is peak season in West Virginia for golf and many of the other activities here. Our opening reception will take place at Howard's Creek Lodge, a beautiful 19th century log cabin located in the trout stream that runs through the golf course. It is the perfect place to enjoy some good food, share some laughs, and have a few beverages by the fire. So fun fact for you, it's where Jeff and Don first met, circa 2009. So it has an interesting place in the Friars Club story. It is believed that Don still had hair, but no pictures remain from this historic meeting. We have room for eight more couples and we hope to see you there. Well, we also saw quite a few Friars take over DC when Friar Daniel Kramer, owner of the award-winning Duke's Grocery, opened up his Foggy Bottom location for a Friars Festivus celebration. The party was attended by more than 30 Friar luminaries and included the annual airing of grievances led by Friar Dave Nemechek. This year's feats of strength included impressive showings from Andrew Argandona and Tom Craver. Thanks to all who came out. We hope to celebrate with more regional holiday parties in 2024. Also, contact us if you have any ideas. And if you live in Northern Virginia, please check out Daniel's Restaurants. You'll thank us later. So good. And finally, spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of friardom, the thrill of a four-foot gimme, and the agony of a shank, the human drama of athletic competition. This is Friars in the Wild. So we begin in Orlando, Florida, with some holiday fun from Friar Barry Kang and his family, who spent some quality time at the Ritz-Carlton Golf Club. Great outfits, by the way. But Barry can't hog all of the festive fun. Oh no, Friars Rob Munson and Chris Boats are seen here in their best holiday attire. Next, we head to Kiowa Island, where Friar Chris Poor and family celebrated a wonderful new year at the sanctuary, home to our 2024 Friars Club Championship, I might add. Frequent Friars Kevin Callister and Sandy Burroughs showed they clean up nicely for a New Year's party. Friar couple Drew and Michelle Little certainly know how to party. Seems like Drew has a new jacket and perhaps a new membership he hasn't told us about. Come on, Drew. You know we will have 800 new Friar friends reaching out. Yeah, you're welcome, Drew. And now back to the golf course where we find Friar Nate Bath and girlfriend celebrating the holidays with a golf trip to Pinehurst and Myrtle Beach where they played Caledonia in True Blue. Host sites for our October fish fry. Shameless plug to sign up now. Well-traveled friars Quan Quo and Michael Ju had quite a year including this summer stop at Somerset Hills. Keep in mind, 
Registration opens soon for our 2024 outing there on July 23rd. It's going to be a good time. Friar Friday, Kristen Renzulli and her doppelganger daughter Reese are seen here enjoying some family competition at Top Golf. Friar Suzanne Swistak took an epic trip to Pebble Beach for New Year's. Here she is enjoying some epic views at Spyglass. Now, not every Friar's holiday travel involves golf. Friar Vance Arthurs is seen here with his beautiful family enjoying some snowy mountain views. Meanwhile, Michael Trotta put down his golf clubs to try snorkeling with his family in the islands. And speaking of the islands, former Friar Captain George Connor enjoyed some time captaining a schooner in the British Virgin Islands this winter. And it's rumored that he understudied under this fella. Hmm. Well, that'll do it for another month of Friar fun. Take care and happy travels. I'm Lauren Thompson, and until I see you next time, don't be a you-know-what.